Hello, this is R I C K Y. The you know what? Th this just isn't working anymore. I hold on, hold on. Much better. Hey guys, so we have some breaking news that just went down. Literally, Samsung themselves decided to announce this at the end of the night, and that is the Galaxy Fold is returning in September. Yes, you heard me right. Samsung has officially had a date announced. Not exactly a specific date, but we have a month at least. And this is really big because the Galaxy Fold is coming out. It's actually coming out after the Note, which is troubling and we'll get to that in a second. But really the Galaxy Fold is going to be relaunched and hopefully I have to wish for the best for it just because I'm very excited to see what folding and bendable screen technology will give us in the future. And I believe that this product has to sell at least decently in order for that to be a something to look forward to. You know, this isn't gonna be 3D, it's actually gonna be useful. And having a bigger screen that fits in your pocket I think is a use category that I think will be highlighted, uh, hopefully in a good way with this phone. Now, unfortunately, Samsung really didn't kind of improve in the features that I went over in how Samsung could improve the Galaxy Fold, especially the front screen. I think if the front screen would be an inch bigger, it would look 10 times better. But that being said, they did improve on everything that they needed to for the hardware to work better. And that is meaning that it just won't die on you so easily. So first of all, the film that two, I think, uh, YouTubers ripped off is completely edge to edge now, so it won't be as easy to peel off, so that people won't just automatically peel at it, and hopefully that means that the film will stay there, because if you do take it off, it does break the device. Secondly, the gaps have been reduced in two main sections, and that is on when the screen is open, you can no longer kind of put something in between the screen and the uh, bottom part that was open gap before. And secondly, the gap on the back when the hinge closed and then opened again, won't be able to trap things inside of it anymore, which again, those were two instances that issues happened just by having your pocket or things of that nature. So this is really big because they fixed the issues that caused them breaking. However, they also are improving the software a little bit. So at launch, Samsung promises there will be more apps that work with the continuum, the front screen to the second screen connection so that apps will work more seamlessly, as well as the overall UI, meaning that it should have lots of split screen working apps as well as the triple screen split. So. Overall, that's exciting and it's good, but I do hope that Samsung does get to have a better launch this time around. I hope they give it to more YouTubers, namely ones that didn't crucify them upon this breakdown, I'm just saying Samsung. Uh, but obviously the biggest thing I would say is that the Galaxy Fold, I hope does well, but it's worrisome because this is coming out in September. The biggest issue with September is that one, you're coming out after the Note 10, which is a whole nother thing. But secondly, you haven't really addressed anything in changing the hardware or the price. So one, your coverage is going to be very minimal because what else comes out in September, Samsung? The iPhone. The iPhone is going to be launched in the same month as you. And then you have the Pixel coming out after that. Then you have the V series from LG. And then you also have probably OnePlus coming out with another phone as well. So there's lots of competition this time around and this year is prime time. And Samsung usually handles that very well with their Note. Always competitive, always high specs, really all in all pretty much the best phone every year. But here's the thing, if the Fold doesn't change its specs, then it's going to be lesser quality in certain instances than the Note 10 Pro. And the Note 10 Pro coming in at $1,150 is going to be substantially cheaper than the current Fold price at $800 more. So that really begs the question, why get the Fold over the Note 10 Pro? If the Note 10 Pro has a better camera, if it has better software, it, it, it really is just a troubling thing for Samsung to launch it without any hardware improvements, especially at the same price. I think if they would lower the price, maybe $200, $300, I think that would be a lot more enticing or give a really big trade-in uh, for it. Maybe 
if someone had the Note 9, for instance, or the S10, they get a bigger trade-in for the Galaxy Fold. That could be something else, but it really is just about that. Samsung needs to be careful with this because this isn't a phone that's gonna sell a million units even. But at this point, they really have to, one, improve the pre-order uh, because that was a horrible system that you had to register to get pre-ordered and then a lot of emails didn't go out till the pre-orders were already taken up. So it really was, even for a person like me who is involved in technology, who loves technology, I didn't get on the pre-order list in time and I was on the wait list. So there was some big issues with the pre-orders that hopefully Samsung will fix in that sense, but really they have to either address the price or the features of it. Because one, the news could get buried for the Galaxy Fold depending on the day of the launch. It really has to be away from the Apple announcement and the Apple launch so that the news gets covered for it. This is a mistake that LG has made countless times with their V series. They either announce it at the same week that Apple announced their phone and no one covers the V series because of that after a day. And then their launch is usually around the Pixel launch. So then again, you do not want to just not get mentioned and not get covered by YouTubers, by social media, by all platforms. You really want to stand out and that's something that Samsung has to be very careful with this Galaxy Fold launch. They also want to be careful again, if I want to buy one phone this before the holiday seasons and really which one am I going to buy from you, Samsung? If your Note 10 Pro has more features and better features, then why wouldn't I buy that over the Galaxy Fold? If the Galaxy Fold still has the Samsung S series specs, it needs to be bumped up slightly to have the same good low light front camera or other things that the Note will have, it needs to be implemented on the Fold for it to really be eye-catching and for it to be worth the price. You don't wanna end up in a red hydrogen one instance when by the time you come out, you're far outdated in comparison. The S10 obviously isn't far outdated, but if your Note 10 already has better features at a lower price, that is a reason why should I buy this? So let me know what you guys think. Overall, I really, really hope Samsung improves some of the features on it or drops the price a bit or gives a better trade-in. They need something else for this, especially the Galaxy Buds for free isn't enough anymore because I truly do believe those will be for free when you pre-order the Note 10. So there are always pre-order giveaways for the Note series and if the Galaxy Buds are there, then again, the Galaxy Fold doesn't even have that. Overall, I really do hope the Galaxy Fold succeeds. I know I will probably get one as long as I can get on the list to get one, but definitely it's something that I really want to get and something that I'm really excited for. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Thank you as always for watching. This has been RCKY, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.